After all the effort, right? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it, Vanessa and Craig. People are frustrated. They're angry. They're disappointed. You name it. All of these emotions this morning. And you can't really blame them, right? Some people not only missed one day of the festival, they missed two. Now, the Electric Zoo Festival on Randall's Island faced issues all weekend long, and it all culminated last night. And that has many people who couldn't get in wondering what it means for their pocketbooks. Now, this is video from the event's third and final night, Sunday, uh, that shows concert goers actually rushing the gates. That happened after the festival announced it was shutting its gates early, saying around 6.30 last night that it had reached capacity sooner than anticipated. People reportedly waited for hours at will call, but they just never got in. And one woman from Pennsylvania told us that's what happened to her. Let's hear from her. People just rushed the gates. They just kind of like went through the barricades, went through the security, whatever little security they had, and just ran into the festival, just like completely just sprinted. We actually extended our stay so we could stay tonight because we thought, oh, we'll be there late. We don't want to drive home. So we spent another couple hundred to stay an extra night. And here we are. So people online today really saying that this was just a mess. Now, Electric Zoo tweeted last night saying, quote, we deeply apologize for this inconvenience and hope you understand that this decision was made with everyone's best interest in mind. But the problems at the festival didn't just start last night. They weren't just last night. There were issues all weekend long, as I said. On Friday, the festival was canceled entirely the whole day because supply chain issues delayed completion of the stage. And on Saturday, doors opened at least two hours late. So really, it was issue after issue after issue. Hundreds of people in line still couldn't get in. Now, the festival says anyone who was denied entry yesterday will actually be getting a full refund. As for Friday's full cancellation, the zoo says people will be refunded as well, including for ferry and bus tickets for that day. But of course, we all know in situations like this, it can take time to get those refunds. So, um, you know, questions are still arising. A lot of people frustrated this morning. I'll send it back to you guys. Mm.